Alright, today guys I'm going to show you how to do some action replay codes for Pokemon Coliseum. Um, the emulator I'm going to be using um, is Dolphin, and I'll send you the link to the ROM and to the emulator in the description. Also, I'll be using three different links for the codes that uh, we'll be using, and they'll also be in the description. Uh, th these three codes I'm going to go over, um, some can modify your Pokemon, some can modify the moves, and um, they can also modify the stats, like attack, defense, special defense, etc. Um, first we're going to go over the ones that modify your Pokemon. Uh, you might need the master code, you might not. If you do need the master code, um, you put it in as a separate code in the Dolphin emulator, and you enable it. Uh, me specifically, I do not need it. So, it will have the name of the Pokemon and the code under that for that specific Pokemon, and then you plug them into Dolphin. So, I'll show you how that works out. Um, before anything, before you input any codes, go to Options, Configure, Enable Cheats, make sure this is checked or else cheats won't work. Go to Properties, um, Action Replay Code, and I'll show you how this works out. So, I'm going to grab a code. Let's do uh, Celebi. Copy that. Properties, AR code. Click Add. Pokemon 1 Celebi. And as you can see, I have some other codes that I put in earlier when I was messing around. Paste this in. Press OK. It's on. OK. And um, whenever I add new codes, or I mean enable codes and disable codes, I like to restart Dolphin um, because sometimes it might crash which is no good so where's my dolphin there it is okay open this back up click the game um, press play oh get to work now what this is gonna do is it's gonna change the Pokemon the first Pokemon in your party whatever it is, whatever it may be, to the desired one. So, it's gonna be Celebi now. Uh, yeah, yeah, Celebi. Let's go with it. And it says Umbreon, but it's a Celebi. As you can see, it says Umbreon slash Celebi. Um, and now you're probably like, well, all these stats are weird. For these, don't make sense for Sylvie. Well, if you level them up, it will. It will reset to the normal stats. And instead of that, if you just want to really go all out, you can change these stats to 999, which I'll show in a second. And you'll probably want more. You'll probably want moves that actually make sense to the Pokemon. Correct. Okay. Now, since we want to keep this Sylvie permanent, um. Go into this, save, save, okay. Uh, we're gonna exit, we're gonna stop the emulation. Go into properties and turn off the Celebi code. Because now the game understands that we have a Celebi as our Pokemon. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to another link. I think it's this one. This this link has a lot of codes on it. You can switch the EVIV codes. Uh, you can mess with that. Uh, these are codes to switch the EV and IV um, of your Pokemon. And the these codes right here. They change the moves of the Pokemon, the first Pokemon in your party, second Pokemon, third party Pokemon, and so on. Um, and you oh I forgot to go over this and we can um we're gonna also go over having nine thousand nine hundred and ninety 
um, items of whatever you want or whatever is available all these codes up and down um, just for probably what anybody wants the master wall so um, I already have that code in uh, all you have to do is um, add a new one like so add in 900 9999 master walls and it should pop up um, uh, where's uh, in the PC? I'm pretty sure that's what the code description says. Um, yeah, but we're I'll sh we'll figure it out. So I'm gonna enable um all these codes except for the syllabi because I already have the syllabi. So I'm gonna have 9,999 max master balls, max special defense, max special attack, max defense, max attack. Those are all enabled. We'll do the move modifiers after this. Um, so I'm just going to close out of Dolphin. Um, start it back up. Just so it doesn't crash. Crashed on me twice. It doesn't really do anything, but it's irritating. So just... It's easier to take precaution and just do this. Mm -mm. So now I want to go to my Pokemon, I click on the Umbreon, Summary, and Attack is 999, Defense is 999, all those are 999, OP, OP. Okay, now we're going to go check um, the PC item storage. Withdraw, and there are the master balls. Nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine master balls. Okay. Now, if you want to s keep these settings, save the game. Overwrite current save data. Your progress has been saved. And then we're gonna end the simulate and the emulation. And just to show you that um that these codes stay like they don't need to be enabled all the time you don't want them enabled all the time after you've already saved um just to show you that they're permanent i'll press play again start the emulation back up i should have restarted dolphin i didn't hopefully it doesn't crash it makes a really annoying noise okay it didn't you'll know if it crashes if it makes a weird noise right there okay Um, as you can see, Umbreon's still there, summary, stats are still the same, all that good stuff. And just to be safe, I'll look in the item storage, withdraw items, still there. So it's all good. So you don't have to, um, uh, you don't have to keep them enabled and I would advise not to because it's just a nuisance. Okay, now what we're going to do is modify moves. So on this link, I clicked Pokemon 1 move modifiers. So the first Pokemon in your party, and this is the code to change its first move. Second move, third move, fourth move. Um, so I'm going to select move 1. So I can, I copied that. Um, Add a new code, uh, Pokemon1 move, okay, and then type in this code. Um, I think it will work even if it's all weirded out, spaced out like that, but I'm just going to press backspace anyway. Okay, so now these three X's, you want to remove them. Those are placeholders, and those are the code, that's the code you want to um, edit. So now we're going to go to the third link. I'm gonna open that in a new tab. Okay, and now these are all the moves right here. So let's just do. Um, let's do psychic. So copy that code. Type it, in, paste it where that was the placeholder. Press OK. Um. 
Weird. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Code's enabled. Let's press play and see if it worked out. I haven't tested out this this one yet, so hopefully it works out. I tested out all the other codes, I just haven't tested out the move ones yet. Pray. Okay. Umbreon on summary. Uh, psychic. Yes, they learned psychic. So when you type, when you paste in the the move code in place of the X's, make sure you only use four digit spaces. That one had five. I removed one of the zeros. Worked out just fine. So that's that's nice. Alright guys, well that is basically all the codes that I know how to use from that website and the other resources, but um, you can go ahead and that second link has a bunch of codes that you can use, um, more than I probably should, but that this video hopefully gave you the gist of how to use it and such. Um, thanks for watching.